Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the first video of series of Windows Server 2016 videos. Hope you guys will enjoy my Windows Server 2016 videos. And in this video, I'm going to install Active Directory uh, on Windows Server 2016 machine. And let's have some idea about my demo environment. In my demo environment, I have my physical machine with a 16 GB RAM i5 machine. You can check out from here. I have installed Windows 8 1.8.1 8 1 Enterprise on this my physical machine, and I have installed VMware Workstation 11 on this machine. You can verify from here. This is my VMware Workstation 11, and if you go to here on this machine on my physical machine under the VMware Workstation 11, I am going to create one virtual machine with following name win2k16 uh, dc01 on which i am going to install active directory win uh, active directory server so let's create a one machine create a virtual machine click next and i'm going to select my windows server 2016 media iso file which i have downloaded previously from microsite microsoft technet website and going to click open next and for till now VMware Workstation does not have Windows Server 2016 so I am going to select Windows Server 2012 click next and I am going to name it Win2K16-DC01 DC01 and click next I am going to select store virtual machine disk as a single file and I am going to give the size for 501 GB click next and finished and you can verify my settings I'm going to edit my virtual machine settings and I'm going to give it 4 GB RAM and 4 processors and I'm going to select my bridge network which I'm going to use for further for my lab I'm going to remove printers from here and click OK and now power on the machine it's loading the files so we are at the welcome setup screen I'm going to click next and install now And from here, I'm going to select my Windows Server Technical PV3 Server with Desktop Experience. If I'm going to select Top One, this is the basically core version of Windows Server 2016. So I'm going to install with the Desktop Experience. I have selected and click Next. And I accept the license terms. Click Next and Custom Installation Windows Only Advanced. I'm going to create one partition for like you can see this much around 200 GB I'm going to click and create a second drive for the rest of drive that is 300 GB so I'm going to select the 200 GB partition and going to click next so it takes few minutes to complete the installation I am pausing the recording here and once the installation is finished I will be back so the installation is almost done we are at the pace of doing basic configuration so let's do the basic configuration of the server 2016 and I'm going to do this enter this product later does not require right now and going to accept the license term and I'm going to put my admin account password here and it's almost done with the installation Control to Dell. Um. 
I'm going to put my administrator account password to login. Applying user setting, preparing windows. So we have logged into our server and I'm going to install VM tools on this machine and if you are doing this on physical machine then there was no need to install VM tools. I'm just going to install it because I am doing this practicals and lab on my workstation only. So for the Active Directory installation, before installation we require to do some basic tasks such as I am going to rename my uh, Windows Server and going to do the basic IP address configuration for this server. So I am going to rename my server, click here change. I'm going to put my server name Win2K16 DC01. Okay. It says it's required reboot to take effect. No problem. Click OK. Close. And restart later. And same, I'm going to set IP address for my machine. I'm going to click here, networks, my Ethernet adapter, properties. Going to disable IPv6 and select IPv4 properties use the following IP address I'm going to click next 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 install to install VM tools and I'm going to put my IP address details uh, it's 254 default gateway is 192.168.1.1 prefer DNS is 192.168.1.254 because when we are installing the Active Directory on Windows Server, it's automatically going to install DNS role. So, I think we are good to go to reboot the server once the installation is done for VM tools. If we go to here and you can see VM tool installation is done and finally I'm going to restart my machine so the server is rebooted and I'm going to log in on this machine So it's loading the server manager's dashboard. So finally I'm going to install Active Directory role, manage, add role and features. I'm going to click next, next and here is my server name and IP address which we have configured before the restarting server. I'm going to click next. I am going to select my Active Directory Domain Services and it's going to add few features for the management and click next and play with default next 
and restart the destination server automatically if required click next and it will take one or two minutes to get the binary installed on my server for the active directory domain services so you can see starting installations you can so you can see installation is started on our server so the installation is complete and I'm going to click on promote this server as a domain controller and I'm going to select here add a new forest I'm going to put my forest name victor and I'm going to click on next and I'm going to use my victor local for my domain name click on next and I'm going to select my directory service register mode password click next and for this first level I'm going to select Windows Server 2008 R2 and the domain function level also windows over 2008 r2 so my windows over 2000 i can join or promote windows over 2008 machine to my domain as a domain controller and i'm going to click on next and specify the dns okay next and it's going to verify my net bios name for my domain it will take few seconds and my, my net bios name for my domain is victor info soul going to click on next and it's going to ask for my database so I am going to assign this in my D drive for database folder of the active directory and log folders and my sys volume as well as all in D drive under the windows folder going to click next and I have to create these folders so I'm going on my D drive and we have to create oh, we have E drive I think okay so we do not have created a partition yet so I'm going to click on my disk man computer management so my D drive is basically CD drive so I'm going to use my E drive here when promoting the configuring the data drive data folder for active directory E and 1E also here click next and it's all done and I'm going to click on next and it's checking pre request for validating active directed services services for on this computer before the installation of ADDS hopefully everything goes well and all pre request check pass successfully so we are going to install the active directory domain service on this computer so I am going to click on install button and it's pass process the installation of active directory domain services on this server so it will take few minutes to complete the installation of active directory domain services on Windows Server 2016 machine so it's about to sign down it's going to restart my server automatically so it's restarting the server once the server is rebooted successfully it will come up comes up with the active directory installed so it's restarting the server
so it's applying computer settings so uh, I am at the login screen I am going to log into my server and here you can verify our domain name Victor Info Soul and admin status so we have successfully installed Active Directory Domain Services on this server so you can verify Active Directory Domain Services and DNS was installed on this server so if I'm going to open Active Directory User Science Computers you can verify our domain name and under this domain I'm going to create one OU with the name of India click OK and I'm going to create few more OU under the India OU first is workstations second one is users and groups we can see three uh, OU was crea is created and I'm if I'm going to open DNS I'm going to click on reverse lookup zone and I'm going to create reverse lookup zone for my domain and leave it default next to all DNS server running in on a domain controller in this domain and also we can select forest so for now I'm going to select in this domain click next IP lookup zone 4 I'm going to click put my domain IP address and it's going to take my and here we are we have created you can see if I'm going to click my domain host I'm going to update associated PTR record update it and here we are we got the reverse lookup zoom entry for my domain name domain server and this all about the installation of Active Directory on Windows Server 2016 thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos and um, if you have any query any question you can mail me on my given mail id and hope hope to see you soon on when on my next video of this series windows over 2016 thank you once again bye bye